your deck tutorial hello and welcome to our channel on this video i'm going to show you how you can use your deck so please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial and to create an account on your deck you can also use my affiliate link below the description where i earn a small commission at no additional cost to you and by using the link you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up but before that if you don't know what is your deck it is a leading provider of digital signage solutions Offering a cloud-based platform that enables businesses of all sizes to create, manage, and display dynamic contents across various screens, in which Yodek has established itself as a user-friendly option in the digital signage market. And the platform allows users to upload and schedule a wide variety of media types, including images, videos, PDFs, and web content, all accessible from anywhere with an internet connection. And Yodex's intuitive interface supports drag and drop functionality for easy content management. And now to create an account, just click the link in the description. Or you could also click the get started button on the top right corner in here. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page where you can sign up using your Google account, Microsoft account, or email address in here. And after signing in, you will not be able to be directed on this dashboard. And from here, just simply fill out on this pop-up window the required information Order a question, for example this one, what type of work do you do? And after that, what industry do you operate in? So I'm going to choose corporate and click the next button and also what is the size of your organization? And where and how do you plan of using all your screens? Now after selecting your answer, just click the next button and you could also agree and let's go with button to proceed. Now as you can see, this is basically the dashboard of yodek.com. On the left side panel, we have here the dashboard, media, apps, playlists layouts, schedules, and many more. Now under this welcome page, you could also click set up your first screen by clicking this one. You could also start setting up depending on your preferences on this too. But I'm going to skip this part, but you could also start editing or navigating the sequence of your playlist and many more. Now moving on to this dashboard option, by clicking on it, you can navigate here some other option including the screen statuses your subscription plan, the screen location on the right side panel in here that you can start tracking or navigating. While on the left side panel, we can navigate here these media files. By clicking this one, all media, you can start seeing all of the images, videos that you could also start adding here or uploading from your computer files. By clicking this add images on this pop-up window, it will show you that you can start adding or uploading a media file from your computer or even stock images, videos, audio, documents, or web pages in here. Basically, this media option offers a versatile range of media options designed to enhance digital signage capabilities for businesses, in which it allows users to create an engaging displays tailored to their specific needs. And users can upload media files directly or link to online content such as YouTube, videos, and live streams, enabling dynamic and interactive presentations. And after successfully adding here an images from your computer files, it will show you on the right side panel in here that you can start adding details including the name of this image. And even click add a description in here if you want to add a description, the default duration. And you could also add the tags in here depending on your preferences. While below if you scroll down, you could also navigate the availability or setting the date in here. And then to save the images, just click the save button on the top right corner. But you could also save this to your playlist or save and set to your screen. Now going back on the page, you could also navigate here on the left side panel the videos that you can upload the audio by clicking this one. We can start adding an audio, a document in here by simply clicking a document button below. We can start adding here or uploading the documents that we can find on our media files such as PDF file, Word, PowerPoint, and even Excel file in here. And we could also import from URL. And also under these web pages, you could also enter the web pages and enter the name of it. To start uploading in here. Moving on on the left side panel, by navigating this apps option, we can click this browse app and it will show us a variety of application that we can start adding to this website. We have here the featured apps, most popular apps, and all apps in here such as monday.com, asana, cnn, ctv, and many more. But let's say I'm going to choose this analog clock in here. By clicking this analog clock, you'll be able to see here that we can start clicking this use app in order to be directed us or start using this kind of application. And after that from here we could also start navigating or customize the app settings including to enter the name of it, the description, select a time zone in here, and even choose the clock style. 
the theme of it and many more. So you can basically navigate and customize some other data in here that you prefer. And after that, if you're not done, just click the save button at the top right corner to proceed saving the apps. Now it will show us in here all the items under apps in here. And by clicking these three dots, we can navigate to edit, add to playlist, and add to screen. Now moving on to this playlist, by clicking on it, from here we can start clicking add playlist to add one and choose either classic, tag base, dropbox, onedrive, and many more. And I'm going to choose classic and click add. And from here we can start adding here the library, media files, or upload from our computer. So basically from here it will allow users to compile various media files such as images, videos, web pages, and layouts into a single sequence. And users can easily create, manage, and customize this playlist through an intuitive interface enabling seamless transition between different media elements. So as you can see, we can simply choose any kind of media files from our computer depending on your preferences. Then click upload to proceed. And it will now show you that the image has now been added below the library so you can simply click this button or option. And it will be added in our playlist option or images in here. Now moving on under this library, you can also navigate some other options including apps, web pages, layouts to add on your playlist depending on your preferences. Including this layout, for example, you can add this item or media by clicking this button. It will automatically add it to your playlist images. And if you're not done, just click the save button. But before you save it, make sure that you also fill out the name and also the description of it. You can navigate also the transition option, playback options in here. And now aside from playlist, you can also navigate this layouts option by clicking on it. From here, you can navigate here to add the layout depending on your preferences or clicking here the layouts that has already been in here and start navigating or customize this one such as to arrange some of the elements in here the context the color of it and even the font style font size font color the background and other elements in here of this kind of layout so you could also navigate the layout settings editing tools on the right side panel in here including to change the name the ratio the size of it the width, height, top, left, and any other kind of tools in here that you can start inserting an audio, image, video, document, depending on your preferences. So basically from here, users can choose from a wide selection of free templates tailored to different industries such as retail, hospitality, and education, or create a custom layout from scratch. And if you're not done, just click the save button, and you can also start saving the layout that you just created. Moving on to these schedules, from here you can also add a schedule by simply selecting here a specific date and start adding a new event on a specific date in here by filling out on this pop-up window the required information including the content, the event type, and also the date of the event in here and just click the save button to add it, the event. So you can basically do the same process of adding an event in here depending on your preferences or even do this one in which you can start selecting any date or time when your event gonna start and end. So basically this schedule option is designed to provide users with flexibility and control over their digital signage content and the scheduling features allows users to specify exact times for different screen layouts, playlists or media files to be displayed enabling tailored content delivery based on the time, day or specific events. And now in terms of the pricing plan that offers by this Yodec platform as you can see in here, they offer a different kind of plan. We have here free plan, basic, premium, and enterprise plan with its corresponding prices and features below here. So you can start choosing what kind of plan that are fit to your business or organization in here. But overall, that is just basically how you can use Yodec. Thank you.